it's a diesel engine, that means a lot. Not just for the Celerio, but also for Maruti Suzuki, as they now have in-house capability to design smaller, fuel-efficient engine. Which means the likes of Alto and other small hatches could get the DDIS125, but that will be based on response to the Celerio diesel. Of course, the AMT gearbox on the Celerio caught the attention of the Indian car buyer. But the diesel could create further interest. But here's the X factor of the diesel engine, an ARAI certified 27.62 km per litre. But there should be more than that on offer, right? Now we start the engine and the diesel motor doesn't inspire too much with the kind of clatter that comes into the cabin. Also, it's kind of slow off the blocks. But where the engine feels kind of smooth and refined is between 1800 to about 2500 rpm kind of ambles along without a fuss in city traffic also means you don't have to downshift too much as this good low and mid-range torque but as you rev harder to cruising speeds the engine responds pretty well although it could use with a little bit more refinement A closer look at the DDIS125 engine reveals a 793cc all-aluminum two-cylinder unit churning out 47 bhp at 3500 rpm and a healthy 125 nm of torque at 2000 rpm. There is no spirited driving on offer here, especially with the high NVH levels inside the cabin cruising at high speeds. So after spending some time with it, we realized relaxed city driving was the car's main capability and so don't expect more. So while refinement might be an issue, the one area that Maruti Suzuki has got spot on with the Celerio diesel is the suspension setup. Remember, this is a slightly heavier diesel engine, uh, but the suspension setup has been tuned perfectly to handle patchy roads. Also, the car feels quite agile, uh, even at higher speeds, although the steering feel could be slightly better. There is no exterior or interior changes to the Celerio, except for the DDIS badging. Maruti claims the body has new materials on it to offer better NVH levels inside. While the cabin does look modern, some of the switches could use some work on quality. Bluetooth is a welcome addition, but the phone controls on the steering wheel refuse to work on our test vehicle. But what we enjoyed was the space on offer that the Celerio is popular for, both in the front and rear seats. So while the new diesel motor is a good first attempt by Maruti with the impressive fuel efficiency, but we do wish refinements were also an area of focus. Currently, the only rival for the Celerio diesel is the Chevrolet. But if you can stretch your budget, the Hyundai Grand i10 diesel might also be an option. Here is a quick comparo of these models. 